As law enforcement conducted a raid on rapper Diddy's mansion, the hip-hop community is filled with speculation, and fans are shocked. Join us as we delve into the unfolding drama, exploring the rumors and potential implications for the iconic rapper's career and reputation. What occurred? Homeland Security agents conducted searches of Holmby Hills and Miami mansions owned by Sean Diddy Combs on Monday as part of a federal inquiry into sex trafficking allegations involving the hip-hop and liquor mogul, law enforcement sources said. The 17,000-square-foot mansion, where Combs debuted his last album a year ago, was flooded with Homeland Security Investigations agents, who served a search warrant and gathered evidence on behalf of an investigation being run by the prosecutors in the Southern District of New York, according to law enforcement officials familiar with the inquiry. Earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation, with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. We will provide further information as it becomes available. An HSI spokesman said in a statement, Sean Hawley, an attorney for Combs, did not immediately respond to requests for comment. A hip-hop star turned entrepreneur, Combs has become the focus of sexual assault and sex trafficking allegations in the last year. The raid is the latest and most serious threat to his gilded lifestyle. Moving on, the history. Four female plaintiffs have filed civil lawsuits against Combs, accusing him of rape, sex trafficking a minor, assault, and a litany of other alleged abuses, imperiling his empire and sending shockwaves through the music industry. Combs amassed his fortune first as a hip-hop producer, artist, and founder of Bad Boy Entertainment, the label that launched the career of the late Notorious B.I.G., among others. He later added lucrative fashion and liquor companies to his ventures, most notably Sean John and Ciroc Vodka. His former girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura, the singer known as Cassie, accused him of rape and repeated physical assaults and said he forced her to have sex with male prostitutes in front of him. Although Diddy reached a private settlement with Cassie one day later, at the time, Combs' attorney Ben Braffman told Newsweek, Mr. Combs vehemently denies these offensive and outrageous allegations. For the past six months, Mr. Combs has been subjected to Ms. Ventura's persistent demand of 30 million under the threat of writing a damaging book about their relationship, which was unequivocally rejected as blatant blackmail. Joy Dickerson Neal accused Combs in a suit of drugging and raping her in 1991, recording the attack and then distributing the footage without her consent. Liza Gardner filed a third suit in which she claimed Combs and guy singer Aaron Hall sexually assaulted her. Hall could not be reached for comment. Another lawsuit alleges Combs and former bad boy label president Harvey Pierre gang raped and sex trafficked a 17-year-old girl. Pierre said in a statement, the allegations were disgusting, false, and a desperate attempt for financial gain. After the filing of the fourth suit, Combs wrote on Instagram, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. A source familiar with HSI's criminal inquiry said investigators have interviewed some of the people tied to the sex trafficking allegations in the lawsuits against Combs. Combs' legal problems extend beyond the rape allegations. Last month, producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones filed a federal lawsuit against Combs, accusing the embattled media mogul of sexually harassing and threatening him for more than a year. He also alleged that Combs tried to groom him into engaging in sex with a fellow producer. Jones further alleged that Combs provided him with footage of people involved in sexual activity at Combs' home, which Jones believed was procured through hidden cameras throughout the properties. Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person that has attended his freak-off parties and his house parties, the lawsuit alleged. Upon information and belief, due to this treasure trove of evidence he has in his possession, Mr. Combs believes that he is above the law and is untouchable. Holly, in the wake of the lawsuit, called the allegations untruthful. On Monday, Douglas Wigdor, a lawyer for Cassie Ventura and another unnamed plaintiff, said in response to reports of a search warrant issued on Combs, we will always support law enforcement when it seeks to prosecute those that have violated the law. Hopefully, this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. Combs has a long history of run-ins with the law. In 1999, Combs was charged with assaulting an Interscope Records executive and pleaded guilty to harassment. Later that same year, after a shooting in a Manhattan nightclub where Combs was partying with then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez and bad boy artist Shine, 
Combs was charged with gun possession and bribery charges. He was acquitted, but Shine was sentenced to 10 years in prison for first-degree assault in the shooting. In 2003, a former Bad Boy Entertainment president sued Combs, alleging that in 1996, his former partner threatened him, with a baseball bat in hand, into signing over his shares of the company. An appeals court dismissed the suit in 2006, ruling that the statute of limitations had expired. In her lawsuit, Ventura alleges that Combs told her in 2012 he was going to blow up the car of rap artist Kid Cootie, suspecting that Ventura and Cootie were dating. The suit alleges, around that time, Kid Cootie's car exploded in his driveway. In 2015, Combs was arrested after allegedly attacking his son Justin's UCLA football strength and conditioning coach with a kettlebell weight. He was never convicted of a crime in connection with that incident. In a 2019 interview, Gina Huin, Combs' former girlfriend of five years, said that during one incident in Miami, he stomped on my stomach really hard, like took the wind out of my breath. I couldn't breathe. He kept hitting me. I was pleading to him, can you just stop? I can't breathe. Combs has denied any wrongdoing in each case. Still, he stepped down from the chairmanship of his Revolt TV media company last year as more than a dozen companies fled his e-commerce platform. In January, liquor giant Diageo cut him loose in a private settlement under which Combs will no longer be a joint owner of the tequila brand Deleon or have any ties to Ciroc Vodka. Moving on, 50 cents, 2 cents. After the police raid on Sean Diddy, Combs residences, 50 Cent has made a statement. For more than 10 years, the in Dog club rapper, real name Curtis Jackson III, has been at odds with the hip hop artist. When Jackson implied that Combs had a hand in the notorious B.I.G.'s murder in 2011, the rapper's battle got started. After Jackson started serving as an ambassador for F and Vodka in 2015, their rivalry grew more intense. Combs had a shared investment in Ciroc Vodka at the time, which was rivaled by the Dutch liquor brand. As a result of their collaboration, the two music icons engaged in a bitter online feud, with Effen insulting Combs on social media. Following the news of Ventura's case against Combs in November, Jackson attacked the rapper on social media. You out here looking crazy as a mamas, el mao, he said on Instagram. The 21 Questions artist then posted an additional post making fun of Combs. He paid that money real quick, should have done that before the shark saw the blood in the water, and here they come in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Every woman he put his hand on, he wrote, before deleting the post. Jackson declared in December that he would be producing a documentary on Combs and giving the money raised to support victims of sexual assault. And now, Homeland Security agents barged into Combs' Miami and Los Angeles residences on Monday after conducting raids on his other two houses. Now it's not Diddy do it, it's Diddy done. 50 Cent posted on X, previously known as Twitter. They don't come like that unless they got a case. The 48-year-old's post was shared on Monday and has already gotten over 2 million views.